everyone! Welcome back to today's program. I'm Nima from Cambridge Educational TV channel. So, our subject for today is how to ask politely from someone to do something. Showing good manners toward others, as in behavior and speech, replying politely, showing respect. The behavior traits are expected in refined and polite society. Politeness is the practical application of good manners or etiquette so as not to offend others. It is a culturally defined phenomenon, while the goal of politeness is to refrain from behaving in an offensive way and make all people feel relaxed and comfortable with one another. Some culturally defined standards at times may be manipulated. Therefore, what is considered polite in one culture can sometimes be quite rude or simply eccentric in another cultural context. In more formal situations, say excuse me. Say hello at the beginning of your request. Remember, please and thank you. Please is said in the end of a sentence. Say excuse me if you ask someone who's doing something else. Remember to say excuse me. I'm asking you, please refrain from doing this. How do you write a polite request? Polite request is in spoken English. Could you? The form is could you plus base form of verb. Examples. Could you carry my bags? Could you give me some advice? Could you carry these boxes? We can add possibly to be even more polite. We put possibly in between could you and the verb. For example, could you possibly hold my water bottle? Would you mind? Form would you mind plus ing form of the verb. Examples. Would you mind helping me with my homework? Would you mind giving me some advice? Would you mind lowering the volume? Would you mind taking my photograph? I wonder if you could. The form is, I wonder if you could plus base form of the verb. Examples, I wonder if you could open the door. I wonder if you could give me some advice. I wonder if you could help me. We can add possibly to be even more polite. I wonder if you could possibly take me to the airport. Do you think you could sound more polite? Follow these tips and you should make the right impression when you talk to people. Listen and be understanding. Avoid negative words, instead use positive words in a negative form. Say the magic word, sorry. Use little words to soften your statement. Remember that do you mind or would you mind mean it's a problem for you? Choose the correct alternative for the following. I borrow a pen, please. Number two. I've forgotten my wallet. Number three. You like to come to the cinema tonight? Number four. Do you mind the window, please? How do you say no professionally? Let me think about it. This is a polite and professional way of asking. The idea sounds great. It's just that I can't today. Four steps to back out of commitment gracefully. How do you tell someone off professionally? Four steps to tell someone to treat you with respect. One, don't get emotional or fake. Get your facts right. 2. Choose a calm time. 3. Be very clear this has to change. 4. Acknowledge response. How do you politely ask your parents for money? For example, you can ask them like a way, Mom, can I have some money please? When asking parents for money, it pays to be 
upfront and speak plainly about your needs. Pick your moment well, but don't catch them off guard. Warm them up by mentioning casually that you would like to set some time to talk about finances. Try using the following tips. Ask with gratitude, show appreciation. Trade what you want for what you can do. Make them look good, match funds, earn credit slowly. Be part of the solution, not the problem. Lower the rate of drama. State your requests carefully. How do I ask my parents for something? One, ask with gratitude and show appreciation. Trade what you want for what you can do. Four, make them look good. Five, match funds. Six, earn credit slowly. Seven, be part of the solution, not the problem. How to ask your teacher for help? Number one, be considered. Teachers genuinely want to help you, and it's a part of their job. So don't agree that you're being a nuisance by approaching them outside of class. Two, ask specific questions. Three, keep your email communication professional. Four, be proactive, be honest. Six, respect your teacher's decisions. Could I see your menu card before ordering something? Could you please tell me the famous dish of your restaurant? Non-vegan, please. Get that one. Yes, one Coke. How long will it take? Excuse me, I forgot to mention one thing. I want Coke with no ice. Meanwhile, could I get something to read? Could I get a magazine to read? We've came to the end of this program. I hope you all enjoyed this and had a great time watching this program. And of course, like every time, you need to learn something from this. Remember to use your polite words. Excuse me, please, thank you, and all the other polite words. I hope you all enjoyed it again. And bye!